funeral arrangements have been made as yet. The family says a series of prayer meetings have been planned throughout the week at their Centurion home south of Pretoria until his funeral service. Mamwepa was a highly respected struggle icon who won the hearts of many journalists as an outstanding government communicator. Let's take a look back at his life. <laughs> Ronnie Mamwepa was a highly respected struggle icon who won the hearts of many journalists as an outstanding government communicator. We actually want to dip our banners in memory of some of our gallant fighters who paid the supreme sacrifice to ensure that our people reached this stage. I'm thinking here of the child, Hector Peterson, the teacher, Matthew Gonewe, the academician, Dr. David Webster, the African, Chris Honey, the colored, Ashley Gray, the Indian, Dr. Yusuf Dadu, the Africana, Bram Fisher, all those people, their sacrifices have not been in vain. A former political prisoner, a member of the Houghton Provincial Legislature, Mamwepo was incarcerated on Robben Island as a young activist where he served five years. He joined ANC in prison and was released in 1990. He served as former President Nelson Mandela's spokesperson when the ANC was unbanned. A meeting of the national executive of the ANC. And joined the government in 1994 and served under the world statement. He went on to join the then Department of Foreign Affairs as a communication practitioner for former minister Ngozasana Dlamini Zuma and moved with her to the Department of Home Affairs. Had to cancel his scheduled flight. He was highly regarded as an accomplished public servant and a veteran communicator and was loved for his professionalism. Muntlingani Dipoko, SBC News, Johannesburg. Well, his brother says he was